Hey, hey, g'day, it's Matt here. So uh, today I'm gonna carve this bull's head, goat's head, some kind of animal head, which I carved a long time ago, out of skateboard wood, yeah. So it is very stripy, it is Canadian maple, and I get it from a guy called Wayne at CW Works. He is a cool guy. Um, you know, he, he makes like knife handles out of skateboards, very stripy obviously, and um, he just does a really good job of it. So check him out on his Instagram, at CW Works. Uh, so the first step is to put this pattern on the skateboard wood, then we're gonna cut it out on a scroll saw, then I'm gonna do some power carving. I keep on changing um, from I to we. Uh, I'm very nervous, this is my first video, so you know, forgive me. Send some hate mail. Um, anyway, okay, so uh, let's cut it out. Okay, so we've cut out this, the uh, skateboard wood, into the shape of the skull which originally looked like this. Uh, let's start carving. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, it's gonna be stripey. Okay, so you can see I'm getting into the details now, and I'm using that uh, cutsel up in the right hand corner, the cutsel burr, which is um, a tapered burr at the end, so it like goes down to sort of like a little roundy kind of point. It's great for getting into those like eye sockets and just around the nose and all of that. You can actually use all the way through on that um, cutsel there. Uh, so I, I'm changing over burrs all the time uh, just to get little details. Might want to point it in sometimes or a straight end, uh, it all depends, uh, but I'll go through uh, burrs on other videos as well. Okay, so we're up to the finishing touches. So here I am putting in some details of teeth with a knife. It's the easiest way to get really, really sharp definition. And just putting a little bit of um, foam sandpaper over the whole thing. I have sanded it with other little bits of paper. It's really hard to get into the little um, nooks and crannies on these things, so you just gotta be sort of creative. There's a good shot of the teeth. And what are we, we are gonna put on the oil here. Uh, I just use like a mix of beeswax oil and then brush it on and wipe it off with a paper towel. And that's it. <laughs> 